All right, gearheads, we're going to wake you up with a little noise here on this Saturday morning. This is Chuck Fast again out here at the Albany Motorsports. We're doing our first passes out here. Here comes the sandwich. I'm curious to see how he does. Uh, first time he's run since last month. If you saw our video from Reed Sport. So we're going to try a live Facebook feed later, maybe about noon. Trying to figure out what time we're going to That hurt my ears. Whoa, we all got pelted. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah I, I was, well, that was a run. Okay. So as I said, we're trying to figure out when we'll do this live feed. We're gonna try something new just for kicks for you uh, sand enthusiasts and whoever else might be curious. I know a lot of our friends are not curious about what we do but we just want to show you a little bit so we'll get back to you we just want to show you guys around this facility over here we have the motocross track they have a big motocross program out here at this place those guys will be uh, running tomorrow and over here we have a lot of sand uh, they tell us that they mixed in a bunch of sand onto the racetrack. So, they say that that might affect people's times, that actually might slow them down. Uh, this track consists of quite a bit of dirt as opposed to sand. So, now I guess we have a little higher ratio of sand here on the track. Here's our little tower out here. Nice vet sitting right up there. That one's gonna get dusty. So we got a good day going on here. There's a big crowd, lots of lots of rigs racing. And uh, it's starting to warm up. Uh, well, we can hear Steve-O back there. You can't miss the sound of that motor. That's a bad mammer jammer. And we'll tell you a little bit more about this, uh, this motor and that whole rig, the sand witch down there. Home brewed by Steve when he got antsy over the winter. Threw that together with, <laughs> you should call the car spare parts. Spare parts from around the garage and got some metal, went to a wrecking yard, built a buggy to go dooning with. But then next thing you know, something changed. to avoid the dirt clots but it won't be so easy when Steve runs. Okay Steve we got a new fresh tune-up on this. He leaned down the high-speed circuit, leaned down the main jets. So we're gonna try to take cover and not get pelted too badly here when he runs. the sandwich when he goes down track. Don't know what he turned. Look at Sonny Burris is going to grab his DT slip over here. We'll see. Any guesses, Sonny, what he turned? Look good at what he's 50. Uh, let's see. I, yeah, I'm going to say. No, fuck a 71. It looked better than that. Yeah, okay. it Damn, it looked better than that. Hmm. He's packing the front. God damn, what the fuck? Oh he shit, he didn't pop out, did he? He's not oh, that's more brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked bad as hell, but it's not where we want to be. Uh, I guess I will say that he did a leak down test. All right, Sonny's going to go over there and grab him. Uh, we'll probably bring him right back around for another time run. Doesn't really have time to change anything. We go round robin and go right back in. So, 
We'll see how we deal with that. Uh, yeah, we did a leak down test on her. And she ain't perfect. I'll say that. She's not perfect. As I was saying, here's how they groom the track out here. They do it often to try to keep this surface nice and fat for us. And, and we like that. He was able to... All his passes, Steve's been able to stay into the throttle all the way, which is a lot better than <laughs> Reed Sport, but no blaming here because Reed Sport is just a fun annual event, and it is what it is. So we were saying that this rig, it's just his dune buggy that he threw together to have fun with uh, a couple of winters ago, and uh, just got a bunch of bars, welded them up, went to some racking yards, Grabbed a few things to steer and suspend it with. This buggy is fully suspended, unlike some of these rigs out here. It's got full suspension front and rear. It's got a four link in the back. It's got kind of a, some sprint cars might call it a bird cage or wishbone setup on its nine inch rear end on the back of this buggy. It's a heavy buggy, about 2,400 pounds, a thousand pounds heavier than some of these rigs he's up against here. And there's a possibility all that could change, too. So here we have a lady here. George Moreland plumbing. George Moreland plumbing. Oh, yeah. All right. Give them a shout out. There you go, George. We got mentioned live on Facebook. like a bit of an easy pass. Whoa, he got sideways there. Yeah, he was doing some off-roading. He just decides he's going to step back into it even after he crossed the finish line just for additional effect, we guess. So, yeah, we're new to sand racing. This is how they prep the track. We've had to learn all of this. Uh, we've got, we're in a learning process with that car, trying to get the grip trying to get the right amount of tire speed, the right amount of tire slip uh, in the given conditions that we'll have on this track. And there's quite an art to that. And we would like to be running some different tires and a few things like that. But we're trying to get that big motor dialed in and uh, at least get that part handled here today. Uh, we'd like to be the fastest out here like we've been. But so far, there's some other guys that might be in front of us. Uh, some of uh, some of our competition has uh, fallen out due to attrition of parts that a couple of the hard runners have, have broke. Uh, it is what it is. We certainly broke out here enough. You'll see in the earlier videos. We had a hard time. Had a true dragster out here last year that he put together and uh, breaking transmissions. Got through that. Now we're running this heavy dune buggy. And uh, it's holding up so far. It's just that he's going to have to get into the engine here and do a little bit of work uh, since we, uh, well, since he did his leak down test recently. Uh, we call ourselves the Sand Outlaws. And I don't know how many of you uh, haters or commenters that might upset because we get them over on the YouTube channel like you're taking advantage of the street outlaws like well how the hell are we doing that I mean my god those guys got it pretty good you think we're ripping them off somehow because I use their name in my videos I mean come on guys I mean we're street outlaws me and Steve we were street racing 35 40 years ago for money at Portland where we come from they didn't always call us street outlaws back then, but I know there's a lot of people that did call us outlaws. So, yeah. And now sand is not the only thing we've ever done. I mean, grudge racing, we're up to it. We like to go up against the fastest guys. If we can put something together, we like to do it. Now, Steve-O, before this, he was racing uh, pro mod boats. That's all heads up. All heads up racing. There's one more race. We don't know if it'll go off. It's in October. But our last uh, YouTube vid may be coming out from this one. Uh, we probably won't be doing those full vids. So I don't know. Uh, we got all kinds of reasons for that. But 
Who knows? Maybe even a few street outlaws might stumble across this and say howdy. So, we may meet up sometime. You never know. I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't mind saying. We got the freaking horsepower, that's for sure. We got that much anyway. Now the rest, well, <laughs> you know. We're real fine looking cheap right here. Almost got me. That guy kind of revved it up to the moon, didn't he, when he launched that thing? How high RPM do you think he went? God, I'd say about 8,000, if I were to take a guess. Repair to get healthy. Got hit, but that is some violent passes he makes with that thing. Jesus. Everybody gets a kick out of that around here. Uh. Alright. Here we go for our second pass. They run these time trials round robin, so this is it, probably it for us. Steve would have liked to have leaned down the high speed jet on that injection. So we're gonna go ahead and go for this and uh, take it from there. All right, here we go. Picking up that left front like usual. We've been told this guy is fast, and uh, it looked like a pretty good launch That's to me. So cool. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, he called us out over here last time here a couple months ago. Anyway, a little more action out here at the Albany Speedway. So we are waiting. Okay, gearheads, uh, Chuck Fast coming back at you out here from uh, the grudge races out here at Albany. Uh, we've got some big dogs came down here from different areas. Uh, this guy in the right lane, John Cleveland, uh, national record holder. These guys are out grudge racing out here. It's pretty quiet for a deal. Got a lot of us here. Some of us are inviting. And it's all good. So, we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'll throw this up on Facebook. Uh, we ran the sandwich earlier. Dialed in at a 3.65. He turned like a 6.48. And uh, we park, but it may not rain much tomorrow. We don't know. We may do some more racing. Uh, we may have some grudge races in our near future, like in the morning. All right, let's see how these guys do. Well, that was quick. Well, that's gonna take a little while to shut down up there. This guy's lining up right next to the guardrail. Night is coming to an end. Oh, well, that wasn't kind of anticlimactic glare. All right, guys. Here we go. Final pass of the night. John Cleveland, record holder from Southern Cal. We're going to see if he can run better than, I guess it's a 319. I guess is what it is. They like to rev them up and blow smoke all over the place and clean them out. Oh, he's over there. Yes, well, not what he's looking for, he said. Not what he's looking for. So once again, I believe that will do it. All right, well, there you have it, folks. We're signing off here from Gearheads World. Okay, commercial break of sorts. On Saturday night, some of the OGs got together and had a powwow and came to the agreement that the sport is dying out. It's nothing like the popularity it had back in the day. 
not unlike other forms of motorsports as well. They agreed that we need to consider options on how to regrow the sport. Social media could certainly be used effectively to accomplish that. However, Google has made it exceedingly difficult in some cases. One thing I can say for sure is that these vids are not getting enough views. We need to get smarter when it comes to social media. Start liking and sharing the vids and the posts to Facebook and YouTube. Good morning, gearheads. Chuck Bass with Gearheads World. And as I said before, we are the Oregon Sand Outlaws. We're coming up for our first run here, the fastest guys. We like drudge racing, so we're lined up with the fastest guys here. We're running them off here. We're going to see what happens. We did some tuning on this old sandwich. This may be its last final run going on here. Left lane! Way to go! Way to go, witchy witch! Alright, who will be the next guy up? We all agreed that we like grudge racing. We need to get the word out. Do you all like grudge racing? I can tell you that you need to post more pics and vids from your events. And we all need to like and share these to our own timelines. So this will get out to more eyes and expose more gearheads to what sand racing is all about. This amounts to free promotion of this sport. Why not take advantage of it? We all need to put forth more effort to push our fingers down onto the like and share button. It really doesn't take that much effort. Alright, we're coming right back up. Chuck Fast out here at the Albany Sand Drag. We're doing some grudge racing today. Now Steve is lined up against Bad Boy Berg over here in the right lane. He is the fast guy. Steve's going to have his hands full here. We're still tuning on this, Rick. And we're about ready to retire it as well. So. It is what it is. So, not even five minutes has gone by since we made the first pass. And we came straight back in to run again. So, that alcohol burning 477 big block should be all worked up for this. And we're going to see. We're going to see here. This may come down to who's quickest off the line. takes it Berg red lights there's the big red eye right there and he's stopped he is stopped in the middle of the track well don't know quite what to say here but we'll be finding out soon enough all right we're out so this will probably be a wrap on this year's video series so again remember gearheads like and share. And I would encourage you to read my monthly column in Rodden and Racing Northwest.com. The electrified vehicles and autonomous vehicles are coming, and they will be pushing our way of life right out of the American way. We need to be more aware. This is Chuck Fast out.